Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be checking out these four vehicles right here, and that thing. Uh, I'm not so sure that's supposed to be doing that. Anyway, these are the last five vehicles for the, uh, the World War II Amphibious Vehicle Challenge, and we have to check them all out today. So, let's go ahead and jump inside of these one by one, take them down to the ocean, and see if we can make them float, and then let's see if we can get them out of the water. First, though, I need to figure out what's wrong with this thing. It's just drifting. It's doing donuts, and I'm not sure why. Okay, so, still don't know what's going on with this thing, but it has now exploded! Uh, right, okay, so... Uh, I think we'll come back to this one eventually, but for now, I'm gonna delete it, and then we'll continue with these three. Four. Hey! Alright, so, to give these things a fair chance, uh, because last time we had to bring them here to actually use them, uh, I'm actually gonna spawn them in using the workbench, so... This is the first one, it's actually just called Frantic Challenge, and it was built by Anime, so... We're gonna go ahead and jump inside of this thing, and we're gonna drive it around. Here we go, we're on the inside. It's got loads of hatches on the roof, I'm not entirely sure why, but it does. Uh, and then we got loads of seats down the side, and we've got like a cargo area here as well. If we open this, ah, uh, okay, yep, yeah, let me close that back up. I don't know what this is, it must be like a fuel tank, I'm not sure. Uh, we've also got a door back there, oh, wait, this thing moves? What is this? I, I don't know what that is, and I also don't really know what this is. Interesting. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and check out this thing. It's a monitor. It shows us in front of us. We got night vision on that camera, and we can zoom in and out. Beautiful. Um, go. Alright, we got light colors here. We got hold, and we got go. Uh, green and red lights. Interesting. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and sit in the driver's seat. We're gonna press this button, which is the reversing camera. If I press 1, and we do this, we've got a throttle. Oh, it's about to explode. It's about to explode. Put the clutch in, and it dies. Interesting. All right, there we go. So, it moves. I don't know why the clutch is like this, but it is. Uh, and we got the throttle right there. I'm just going to throw that up to 100, uh, just because. There we go. All right, so it passes on t oh, in terms of actually rolling around. Sorry, driving around. That's what I meant. Uh, so now we just got to see if it floats. And if it floats, we're good. Here we go. In the water we go, and we are floating. All right, awesome. Does it tip over? I don't think it does. I think we're good. Nice. We've got a speed of 32 in the water. That's cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got issues. We've got issues. It is exploding. It has exploded. The engines have blown up. I mean, that's not the best. That's not really what we want. Anyway, we're going to get out of the water, and uh, we're just going to put it up here. All right, it totally works. Nice. All right, let's drive back to the hangar and get the next one. But yeah, there is obviously a problem with this one. Uh, I think it looks cool though, like it's kind of an interesting design. Uh, but it has exploded on us, and that is not the best. It also actually has a gun on the top, so let's go check that out real quick. Alright, so in order to get out, we need to like open this up, and then jump, I guess? And then just jump into that seat. I, I don't really understand this, but there we go. So we can sit in this seat, then we can fire the gun. Which apparently is just that little light underneath. Yeah, that's firing the gun. We could turn it to the left, we could turn it to the right, and that is it. Nice. Interesting. Okay, so the next vehicle is actually this one right here. This thing is called the Amphibious Artillery for Frantic Challenge. Now, as you guys can see right here, we've got a big old cannon thing. We can aim it upwards, we can aim it sort of straight, we can aim it left, and we can aim it right. Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and put this in the middle. Uh, we got a key button, and we got whatever this is. Oh, we can actually fire a flare. Interesting. That's actually really cool. Can we fire another one? Or is it just one? It's just one. Cool. Alright, then if we go backwards, we've got this whole area right here. Let's go ahead and close this door up. Go ahead and do this. And do this. Alright, and... Oh. The engine doesn't actually seem to run. No. The engine breaks. That's not good. Hold on. No, it, it stalls itself out. I think we got, we got another engine that actually just dies. That ain't good. But anyway... Uh, we'll use it over, we'll crank it over, and uh, we'll see if it gets in the water and is fine uh, with the cranking. I don't even know if this thing will float. Oh, oh, that was a big test. That was a big test. All right, here we go. Drive it into the water, and it is, in fact, floating. All right, nice. I mean, it seems to have stopped. The propellers don't seem to do anything, which is really weird. But um, what's that? I don't know what that is. We got light inside of here. We got loads of equipment inside of here. 
But the thing itself is actually not moving when it's in the water. Which, um, yeah. Not sure why, because the propellers are actually spinning. Strange. Alright, so I gotta give this one, I guess, a fail for this, because it doesn't actually really work. It doesn't work. Uh, I don't know how to make it work, either. Um, yeah. Interesting. But, I suppose it did actually float, and, uh, that passes on terms of floating. It just doesn't drive when it's in the water. And also, the engine seems to, uh, seems to stall out as well. Not sure why, but it does look kind of cool. So, um, good job with the looks, I guess? Right, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this is the next one. This is called the LVTA1, which is a landing vehicle tract. That's what it says. Uh, Frantic Amphibious World War II Build Challenge. Let's go ahead and get inside of this thing, and uh, we'll drive it around. It's built by Caffey. Caffey? Uh, so let's jump inside. Let's go ahead and close this up. There we go. Driver's seat. Alright, nice. Daylights. Yes. We got night lights. Night lights? We got spotlights. Here we go. Engine throttle. Uh... Okay, I think the brake is on. Bike and brake off. Off we go. Nice. So this one actually works. That's amazing. We've got one that works. Crazy. All right. So it's our job now to actually get this thing over to the water, which is awesome. This is designed off a real life uh, tank as well, actually. So I mean, it does actually look really good. I like it. All right. So we uh, probably don't want to jump it off the cliff. I know the last one actually survived it, but I don't know about this one. Uh, because I think the front will just take a massive hit and then we'll die. So we don't want to do that But uh, we are gonna take a little bit of a drop. I suppose here we go tiny drop coming inbound There we go. Very nice get it into the water see if this thing swims and we'll be good All right, do you float? That is the first question. Here we go uh, It does in fact float. Yeah, cool. Uh, we're gonna press one which switches to water There we go. And it starts driving nice Okay, and then gear is two. All right, so what speed do we even go? We're going like 50. That's insane. This thing's fast. All right, I don't know how to turn it. I I actually don't know how to turn. Wait, it doesn't turn. It's not turning. Those aren't in the water. The 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 rudders aren't in the water. Oh, there we go. You got to slow down in order to in order to turn. That's really weird, but there we go. So it does turn eventually. Cool. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and drive this thing back and uh, drive it straight back out of the water. And let's see how that goes. Okay, so one thing I would say about this one is that it sucks at turning like on land and it also sucks at turning in uh, in the water too. But if we ramp it up onto the ground, we should be able to drive this thing around and it be completely fine, which it is. Uh, but yeah, turning in this thing is, I don't know, I want to say not good. <laughs> I want to say really not good. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and park it here. We're going to go ahead and turn on the parking brake. And we're going to... Um, that's okay. We're going to get in this seat. This is the side gunner. What does that do? There's a button there, but I can't press it. Shoot him. Interesting. Uh, back here, we've got fire fighting equipment. We've got fire extinguisher. We've got some stuff up there too. And that is all cool. Uh, if we go backwards, we've obviously got the main gunner. Which, if we sit here, we should be able to actually fire. There we go, that's me firing. We can turn it around, and we can turn it around the other way too, and that is pretty cool. If I press 2, that locks the top hatch above me. If I press 2 again, we can open it and uh, get out. There we go. On top of the turret, we've got an MG, and uh, we've got the actual turret itself. Awesome. Anyway, uh, that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next one. Okie dokie, so this one is the next one. Uh, if you're gonna submit something like this, please make sure it works um, Because this one is just spinning around like crazy and uh, Not so sure why it is doing this. So, um, yeah This one we can't actually do anything with because it doesn't work as you can see So I'm just gonna skip to the next one because I don't know what's going on with this one And finally we actually have this one right here, which was made by spit uh, what's their in-game name? Their in-game name is Gimme Cheese. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, hmm, how do we get inside of this thing? This looks like a tra traditional landing craft, so, uh, if there's a way in, that would be amazing. Uh, unless we just jump. Do we just jump to get on the helm? I, I honestly don't know. I think so. I think that's probably how we do it. Is it? I don't know. There we go, we're on the helm. Alright, cool. So, uh, if we have a little look around this thing at first, we actually have this right here, which is the uh, the ramp. There we go. Ramp out. Is it purely done by weight? Or oh, it is, actually. That's kind of cool. It's purely done by these things. That's awesome. 
Uh, so that's the ramp going down. This is the ramp going up, and that is all. We actually seem to have a gun here, which can aim down. It can also aim up. Interesting. Uh, and then if we go all the way to the back, we've got the helm, which has a drive throttle. We've got a, a generator throttle, and we've got spotlights and lights. I've just developed the hiccups. Anyway, uh, let's sit right here. Go ahead and do this. There we go. Generator throttle should probably be activated too. There we go, awesome, and we are driving it around. This one, I have to say, actually seems to drive the best out of all of them. Uh, but let's get it into the water, and we'll see what happens there. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to ramp this thing into the water and hope for the best. We're going to do a big drop again. There we go. And if we drive it forwards, we should be fine. I actually think this one's going to do completely fine. There we go, we're in the water. And then if I press this, that is how we use that. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and stop the drive throttle as well. And that should be cool. It is. All right, nice. Look at this. It actually drives around in the water. And it is completely fine doing so, which is awesome. All right, hopefully it can actually make its way back out again. That would be awesome. If it can't, then uh, I guess it fails the challenge. But I think it will. So we're good. Just keep it moving forwards. As soon as the wheels hit the ground, we're going to go ahead and put this on. And we are good to go. I think it's only rear-wheel drive as well, actually. I feel like it's only rear-wheel drive. That's interesting. All right, how do I turn the water off? Turn the water pumps off. There we go. All right, and whoop, up there we go. That is awesome. All right, cool. So um, that is actually all of the vehicles for this build challenge. The next build challenge will be a little bit different uh, in terms of what we do. Uh, we're only going to actually review the top five. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting to see, I think. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'll get the next build challenge ready, and you guys can uh, go ahead and do it if you want. Anyway, thank you for watching. All of the vehicles will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.